How's it going everyone? Uh, so in this video, I'm going to talk about how many sit-ups do you need to do um, to get abs. So before I get started, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I do appreciate the support, helps my channel grow. Please follow me on Instagram, DylanBerg999. So sit-ups are really, really good, you guys, to get abs. Now, what I actually recommend to do, I will tell you how to get abs for body weight, and I'm gonna tell you guys another trick too. So again, if you don't have access to weights, that's fine, I will give you guys a tip for that. But if you do have access to weight, it, it's actually really, really easy. It's much easier to get abs if you have weights because weights are very, very easy to overload on, progressive overload, right? That's what we need to build muscle. So all I do when I am training my abs is I get the weight, and I just put it behind my head like this, and then I do a crunch. This adds resistance to the ab crunch. It actually helps to develop uh, muscle way faster. That's just a 10 pound plate. When I first started doing this, I started off with 10 pounds, then I would have two 10 pounds, so 20 pounds, and then I moved to a 25 pound. And now for my ab crunches, I actually hold three 25 pound plates Sorry, I, I used to hold two 25 pound plates and then I had moved into holding two 35 pound plates. So I'm holding 70 pounds behind my head doing ab crunches. My abs, even, I'm sitting probably 14% body fat right now. I still have shredded six pack abs and it's because I've developed the muscle in my abs from doing those heavy, heavy sit-ups. So if you ha have access to weights, all you need is a basic ab crunch, holding a weight behind your head, your abs are gonna start to pop really, really fast, you guys. You're gonna start to notice the difference. Now, if you don't have access to weights, that's fine. You don't need them to build abs. You can still get abs. The amount of sit-ups you need to do though, with weights, you only need to do 15, 20 reps, and then once you hit 20 reps, just add more weight. We don't have that um, luxury with body weight because again it is body weight we don't have access to weights so what you need to do for your sit-ups is you need to increase the volume the total number of sit-ups you do per day so if you see 100 sit-ups a day 200 sit-ups a day those are terrible programs they literally miss the most important part of building muscle and that's progressive overload if you do 100 sit-ups on day one by day two your body has already adapted it knows you're going to do 100 sit-ups and then it won't grow so day one, 100 sit-ups, day two, 103, day three, 105, 107, 110. Eventually you're gonna to start to do 200, 300, 400, 500 sit-ups. And you're gonna start, as, you're gonna start um, to notice your abs are really gonna to start to come in. But the key is doing more than the previous workout. There is no exact number of sit-ups that you need to do. I would say though, once you start getting into the four or 500 sit-ups per day, you're gonna to start to notice your abs are gonna be really shredded. So end of video, thank you so much for watching.